We got a bag alert via <laughs> Swagoo. Marcus Spears is reporting that Ravens free agent linebacker Patrick Queen told Swagoo that he plans to sign a three-year, $41 million contract with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Nice. New quarterback, new linebacker. Mm -hmm. Patrick Queen is somebody that everybody in the NFL loved and respected while he played fantastic, physical, and dominant football last year for the Baltimore Ravens. Obviously, the Steelers get a nice, close look at Patrick Queen a couple mm -hmm. times last year mm -hmm. and the years before that. And Mike Tomlin is trying to reboot, trying to change a little bit, trying to do things a little bit differently because what has been happening for the last six, seven years, just being mediocre, is nowhere near good enough in Pittsburgh. We got a new coordinator, we got a new quarterback, and we're paying big money for an in-division Rival linebacker. Mm -hmm. Are we happy about the move that Omar oh. Khan just made? And Mark Caboli, who joined us in the first hour, said, I got my eyes on Patrick. Yes, Queen. he did. He did say that. That's who I'm hoping for. We need a cornerback. I guess needs still available out there if they want to do that. But Patrick Queen would mm -hmm. be a good Pittsburgh Steeler if we were to do that. <laughs> and here we are. Less than two hours later, Patrick Queen is now saying he has agreed to a $41 million deal with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Are you guys all the way back? What do we think of Tony? Wow. Congratulations yeah. to the Steelers. I mean, I love it. He plays with his hair on fire every single snap. Uh, the Steelers have been looking for an inside linebacker since uh, the uh, the accident, the injury to Shazier. Like, and they ha haven't been able to fill those shoes in a long, long time. They have a Landon Roberts and Cole Holcomb, who they got last year, but this is another one. Like, they had Miles Jack wearing 16 at the end of the year last year, trying to Stank. cover guys down Whoa. down the field. This is this is huge. And, he and, did. I think he would even say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he and and the thing is, Queen knows how to play in the division, obviously. And you, you sign Ravens get Derrick Henry. You got to fight fire with fire, baby. And this is right up the middle. Good luck. Okay. Yeah, he does have a little bit of Bob Spillane in him. He sure. does. You know, with the way, but he, like a lot better. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, block, block destruction. That's what he Patrick Queen will do. Yeah, he blows things up. I mean, that he, he's a can fly. He's awesome. He's star player, too. So, like, yeah. Pittsburgh Steelers fans, and I think Baltimore's the same way. So, I'm not saying that this is abnormal for Patrick Queen or abnormal for the AFC North. But, like, what Artie Smith wants to do with that offense, run the ball. Yes. And what Patrick Queen wants to do and beat people up, like, mm -hmm. that's what Steelers fans want to see. Like, some cities don't want that. Some cities want it to be wide open. That team he's playing against right there, the Chargers have been on the record of saying, we want to have an exciting brand of football. We want to take shots. We want to be wide open. We want to be fast. We want to captivate the audience. We want to build an audience. In Pittsburgh, it's like, if you're willing to punch somebody in the face for the Steelers yes. and you're very good at it, Pittsburgh loves you. Mm -hmm. What a perfect signing, seemingly, yeah. for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And right on kind of the theme of the week so far, going from yeah, one, one team to another uh, division rival, rival awesome. right there. So you see him twice a year. Uh, he's a winner, though. He's been a winner since college. He's on one of the greatest college teams of all time. He's gotten better, I feel like, every year uh, in the NFL. He's one of the, uh, a tandem, part of a tandem, one of the best off-ball linebacking course. I think it's a great move. And Caboli said, you know, still is want to spin kind of up to that cap. So yes, I think it's a great will. move. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Mark Boy. Yeah, Mark. Hey, first hour you said, I got my eye on Patrick Queen. That is, <laughs> that'd be a good stealer. Here we are, hour and a half later or so. Patrick Queen is now being announced as a Pittsburgh Steeler for 41 million bucks. Everybody's pumped about this. Tone Diggs, six to midnight, talking mm -hmm. about this. Been looking for a middle linebacker for a while. How do you feel about a Kaboli and what is your first thoughts on it all? Oh, it's, it's an absolute great move by Omar Khan and the Steelers. They've been looking for an inside linebacker since, you know, the Ryan Shazier injury. And that, what was that, seven, eight years ago? Now they've been plugging and playing left and right people, and they just haven't been able to find that guy. They moved up to get Devin Bush uh -huh. about five years ago. That didn't quite work out. And now they got a bunch of guys who are injured. Um, Quan Alexander got hurt last year. Cole Holcomb got hurt. Now they have finally had a chance to be able to get a guy who's a obviously three years, but hopefully longer than that. He's a younger guy. So um, that was a huge, I find it not maybe a little bit ironic, not long after Derrick Henry mm -hmm. signs with the Baltimore Ravens. Here comes a big inside linebacker. Yeah. Uh, just kind of interesting how that thing worked out right there. Cause obviously they're going to be running the ball 
physical uh, football happening oh, in the yeah. AFC North. Patrick Queen is an old school football player. Speaking of old school football players, Russell Wilson has tweeted now his response. Queen! Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Russell Wilson right there. Obviously welcoming the newest linebacker into his Pittsburgh Steelers locker room. That's right. This is a beautiful thing. Kaboli feels like this team's coming together tighter than it's ever been. Yeah, Kaboli, you would know. Uh, we've been talking about it a lot. Is it, is it really going to be a competition for starting quarterback? Dan Orlovsky said no chance. This is I Russell Wilson's job. I said shot. no chance, though. I mean, Russell would have to be not only god-awful in the uh, offseason and the preseason, even if he was god-awful, I think that uh, he would still get the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I figured. I mean, the best-case scenario for Kenny Pickett in my eyes is for uh, Russell Wilson to stink it up by the midway through the season, and then you turn to Kenny Pickett. Whoa, stink it up! That's the only Lord. way. I, I mean, that's the only way that I'm saying Kenny Pickett is hoping for opportunity here. Yeah. Yes. What about Rudolph? I think he's uh, heading out the door here somewhere. Uh, Steelers apparently have want him back, but he's done. Uh, he's he's, uh, <laughs> he's 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 the writing on the wall. I mean, they can tell him whatever they want to tell him, but the action speaks louder than the words here. Yeah, and they pretty much screwed him for a couple of years. Great and they screwed him again this year in his eyes. 